What's up guys, it's Nikki, and this is the Moab gameplay you might have seen in the preview trailer I put up earlier. And I usually don't go for Moabs, but the way I play in this game, I don't know, everything just seems to fall into place. And I'm not usually one to sit in a corner, because I kind of live by the rule that all that is waiting for me won't come any closer. So I kind of rush around and everything falls in place and I get a Moab. And it's awesome. After this comes another gameplay, just because I'm going to be talking about a pretty long topic today. And I find, like, the best things to talk about in commentaries are things that sit in the back of your head for quite a while. And for the past, like, two or three days, this has really been bugging me, I guess. I'm not really sure if bugging is the right word. But I've been debating back and forth with myself about this. And it kind of started when c Nanners posted that commentary called, What Do You Want to Do With Your Life? And I kind of sat there and thought about that. And I've thought about it before, and I finally just put all my ideas together in a way that I can explain it to other people. But in case you don't know me, or actually I don't think anyone knows this about me, it's December 13th, and December 13th I always try to do something special in honor of Taylor's birthday. Last year I made a montage, and I'm a procrastinator, so I didn't get a montage done this time, but this commentary idea just popped up at the right time, I guess. So let's get started. What do I want to do in life? So that's a huge question. That's a very vague question. And uh, it's not really too easy to answer. I mean, there's no set answer. It's not like a multiple choice test A, B, C, D. Which one is it? Um, I guess, so I broke it down. What do you want to do with your, are all words that we understand and know what they mean. But life is the big word there. And what is life? So I'm only 16. And I'm going to attempt right now to explain the meaning of life to you. And my opinion may change in five, ten years, maybe even a month, who knows. Because we're changing people, people change. And for now, I guess I'm going to break down what the meaning of life is to me. I think it's to have fun and to contribute to society um, while still enjoying the short amount of time relative to the span of the universe that you have in this world. So I was thinking some more, and I broke down the world into two parts. The real world, and I know I'm a gamer, and like, oh, IRL, whoa, there's, there's sunlight. No, not really like that. I mean, like, the real world, and there's your world. So the real world c consists of society, consists of other people, like, not just people in your family, but I mean, like, public people, um, the strangers you see walking on the street. All those people are the real world in whatever I'm trying to explain right now. And the second thing is really the world that you live in yourself, your own world, because let's face it, the real world sucks sometimes, and you kind of need to escape into this own little place that you can call your own, and it's not really an actual physical world. For me, it's gaming. I game to get rid of life stress, or at least to ignore it for a little bit, and for you, it might be art, or writing a book, or music, or whatever, and we all have that little world that we escape into just to avoid the real world, because the real world's kind of messed up. So why do we live in both worlds? The purpose of the real world is to kind of be connected to everyone else because we're social creatures as human beings. And the real world connects us to everyone else and we live in it so we can contribute to society and improve everyone else's lives. We live in our own worlds so that we can improve our own lives and enjoy the things that we like to enjoy because not everyone likes the same things. So now I'm going to actually tackle the biggest question of them all, what is the meaning of life? And I believe that it's to contribute to society, or the real world, while still taking what you can um, experience-wise and fun-wise for your own world and having fun in that. And you can be in both worlds at the same time. I mean like bands. People who are in bands love music, they're contributing to the real world through entertainment, and they're living in their own world by writing their own songs and just flat out having fun doing it. And I think that we should all kind of strive to be like them, be like band members. I'm not saying we should all join bands, but we should all find something we like that also contributes to society. I mean, like being a professional gamer is mine. I might have talked about that quite a bit. And I think we should all kind of find that thing and go towards it. I think I'm saying life has many meanings, but all in all, I also believe that the meaning of life is to continue it or kind of reproduce because we don't live very long. And I think if we can, since we can, we should give others the ability to enjoy this world because this world isn't all bad. This is a pretty awesome place to be. 
I mean, it's much better than being on the moon. I don't think the moon is that much fun. There are zombies there. But uh, um, I think we should give the chance to live to others since we can and continue on human life. Now, one thing I was thinking about is that one day every single human is going to die. And I think by contributing to the real world, maybe one day we can stop that. Maybe science can one day, if people contribute to science specifically, or not even if they contribute to science, maybe they, they're entertainers and scientists like music, I don't know. But if you're following what I'm saying, maybe if we continue to contribute to the real world enough, then we'll be able to advance far enough to where we can avoid the human species being wiped out. Um, which is the ultimate goal, I believe, of the real world. But we shouldn't give up our own worlds in pursuing that goal. And we should still have fun on this earth while contributing. The ultimate goal being that we never die. All of us, that is. And uh, I know that sounds kind of depressing, but if we can stop it, then we should. But if there was someone right now, a completely reliable source, maybe, I don't know what you believe in, the stars, God, whatever... Um, if they were to tell me, or to tell humans, that there is absolutely no way to avoid the extinction of your species, I would say, okay, everyone, stop working so hard, we're all going to die eventually, all our kids are going to die, and I know that sounds really sad, but that's the harsh reality, um, that is if the thing I assumed is true, and we should all just have fun, we should all just do what we enjoy, I mean, without destroying what other people enjoy, without killing other people, or, well, I mean, killing people in Modern Warfare 3 is pretty fun, but... Um, killing people in real life, that's kind of bad, so you don't want to do that, but you want to have fun. I mean, I guess that's the goal in life. But yeah, so that's my response to seeing Anna's question, but uh, let's make it more personal. What do I want to do with my life? I want to have fun. Um, very vague question, very vague answer, and my definition of fun would probably be to be a gamer my whole life. And that's how I view it right now, my opinions may change, but that is my answer to seeing Anna's question. Anyway, on another topic, I'm almost at 200 subscribers, and I started this channel two years ago with this vision of starting it with Kyle, who comes on here a lot, and maybe some of my other friends, and our specialty would be expressing a wide variety of opinions. Me and Kyle do have a lot of similar opinions, but we don't agree on everything. And that was my vision, and we've worked together very hard with some of our other friends. I do a lot of editing and everything, and through, throughout two years, we've just done so much work. And I know we haven't grown in two years as much as other channels grow, but I'm still very appreciative of the fact that 200 people have at one point said, this guy is a pretty good commentator or pretty good at what he does, and he deserves my subscription. I'm very honored that 200 people have my back, or at least did at one point. I know some people are inactive subscribers and don't view all my videos, but uh, subscriber count doesn't mean the world to me. I mean, it's a nice motivation. But I just want to thank you guys for having faith in me and watching my videos. Even if you've watched this video, listening to me talk for the first time, this is the first few words you've ever heard me say, first few sentences I hopefully put together correctly that have ever reached your ears. Pretty much what I'm saying is thank you. Thank you to everyone who has ever watched any of my videos. I truly appreciate it. And I guess I kind of... I guess you guys kind of deserve an award. I mean, I like I like to give people awesome stuff, so... I was thinking of doing a setup video. I have a lot of awesome stuff that I game with. I have a very, very fancy setup. I'm sure not a lot of people have ever seen or own themselves. And I'm not using. I'm not doing it to brag. I mean, if you guys are interested in where I sit around for a very, very huge chunk of my time, then I'd be happy to show you. So if you'd like to see a setup video from me, you can go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. And I appreciate that. But other than that. I'm going to post this as a video response to C. Nanners, and maybe hopefully he accepts it and views my answer as quite appropriate. But as I try to get to my final kill with this model in this game, I believe my score is 30 to 5 or 30 to 6 or something like that. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not very good at math or reading numbers on a screen. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support over the years. I truly appreciate it. Happy birthday to Taylor also because December 13th is her birthday. And I will see you guys later.